A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there to my channel. In this channeling session, the Divine Masculine will bear it all. He will bear his soul. He will tell the Divine Feminine how he feels, every single thing. He is also going to do this because this is happening due to opposite polarity and the Divine Timing has now fallen in place for him to reveal his feelings or to feel the way he has been you know feeling and running away from so let's get started so what happens with the divine feminines is that after the masculine runs away in this channeling the energy is this that after the divine masculine ran away she was in a state of deep regret where she was like why did i convince him so much and this is after the person runs away and there's no way you can talk to them there's no way uh, you know, you want to convince them or, you know, they block you while you're having a conversation with them. So even if you can send them messages elsewhere, you don't want to. So this particular divine feminine went through this and I know a lot of you would resonate with it because a lot of you tried to convince the DM. So, you know, the energy can be the same. The shift can be the same for many of you. So after he ran away, he could not take it anymore, whatever the intensity was. She was left behind to think that, you know, why did I convince him so much? And this happens after a few months. Why did I convince him so much? Why did I send him so many messages? Once she starts to, he, she also realizes that, you know, she should not have tried to pacify him so much. Probably she was too scared to lose him. And also, let's understand that all chasers were initially, in the beginning of the twin flame journey, all chasers are runners. This is something that a lot of uh, twin flame channels or channelers will not tell you guys. But if you look at your trajectory, if you look at your situations, you will realize that initially it is the feminine who is not sure about the masculine. She wants to know him more. She wants to test him more simply because she had uh, so many failed relationships or even if not so many, whatever relationships in the past she had. It was so toxic, traumatic or it didn't work out that she was not very sure that if he is going to be that right person or right guy or not. So initially when he, uh, you know, he comes with all his uh, love because he doesn't have a problem in this area. You know, it's not with him that the sacral is blocked or the root is blocked. So he just comes forth and he says, you know, whatever, I like you, I love you. Or he starts messaging a lot or he's uh, making, you know, a lot of efforts to um, get to know her. This is the time when she goes like, no, I'm not sure. I need to test him more. I need to see him more. Like, uh, is this really the one? Uh, so what happens is that because of this, he gets somehow irritated because this runner chaser dynamic happens between them a lot. Though he is the one to block in many cases, a lot of you will say that how, how is it possible? He blocked me, but then he also blocked you because he was very hurt like we don't we don't block everyone i mean blocking a creepy person is a one thing you know that you can do initially but you don't block people who you have had such deep conversations with or you don't block someone after you say i love you and you're mine and you know i'm this and i'm that you know without even getting into that materialistic type of relationship status like the divine masculines in many cases haven't even met the divine feminines you know those who are in long distance relationship they probably met once or things like that so why would they uh, you know want to do this it's because they get very hurt they get hurt by certain statements or certain things that the divine feminine probably said without realizing that it could have deep impact on someone that's because they the masculines have their own triggers and the feminines have their own triggers so initially from their behavior body language tone you know the way they present themselves she was the one who was not sure and she even must have thought that you know uh, these days people are so good in faking love or people are so good in faking their personality you know she would think like that as well so the divine masculine uh, runs after he sees that she is not clear with her feelings he doesn't want to get hurt so he goes like you know i can't do this anymore 
I don't know what she wants. Does she really love me? Does she really like me? I'm getting all the signs, but I'm not yet very sure. So this is the same feeling that she has. So as I have always said that they just they just show each other whatever's there for real. So what happens is that the, now the separation had happened. So I'm coming. I'm going to next level. The separation happened. There was no communication, no contact, whatever. And this is the time when divine feminine would sit and think that did I overdo it? Did I say way too much? Did I, uh, you know, should I have not? Should I have controlled my feelings? Should I have controlled my thoughts? Uh, blah blah blah. And this I'm talking about before separation, before this whole thing happened. Whatever she wrote to him, like messages, or she, you know, she tried to convince him that I love you. You're the only one. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Let's work it out. we belong to each other you know things and things like that but he was like no i'm i'm not into this now i'm done with it so he wants to go away or he would probably think that you know let me do something that you know will make me happy will divert my mind or he would probably get into a relationship which is very normal thing to do the feminine on the other hand who's doing inner work and trying to understand you know why this situation even happened with her in the first place you know after doing so much inner work i finally attracted my dm and then uh dm a specific person and then after that you know all of this happened it's just not done so why is twin flame journey special or different or so or uh, sometimes for some people so demanding so difficult also is because the universe wants you to completely surrender and you're not going to surrender until and unless you are in a situation where you're completely helpless you've tried everything you've tried from your human capacity your human capability the feminine tries everything now the universe wants her to say that stop doing all these materialistic materialistic things focus on your mental capabilities your mental capacities focus on telepathic communication focus on your solitude focus on your uh, you know source connection focus on becoming a better healed person forget about all this the love that you are searching in the divine masculine he is not ready for it yet you are not ready for it yet so how can he be ready for it yet you need to find the real love within yourself and only then everything will see you know work out on its own for some people it might take just one year six months some for some people eight nine months as many people have you know mentioned in their testimonies uh for some people it might take four years five years six years it depends on the support system you have the universe basically the universe's idea is to make you love your company all by yourself so as long as you are with someone as long as you are getting some kind of human support you still have some support you know you can still someone will still uh, tell you okay you'll do this you'll do that but when you are completely on your own that is the time you actually learn true surrender that's the only time so universe wants you to learn true surrender so that this longing or this uh, deep feeling of wanting to be with this person or this feeling of you know separation i don't want to feel separate anymore from the person i love from anyone you love you should not feel separate whether they have even passed over like maybe you know your father or maybe your mother or maybe for those of you especially you know who have been raised like that or for some or someone you loved a friend or someone a teacher a master someone has crossed over passed over and you completely you know you love them so much but you hate this feeling of separation of not being able to see them again not having them around so these are also the feelings that you will work out you know when you do your inner work because there is a all this feeling of separation comes from within you only that you are separate from the dm that is coming from you so the divine feminine then finally realizes that whatever i said to him you know all the loving things i said to him when i was trying to pacify him it's okay i said it so that regret will go away that regret will be gone that i poured my heart out to him you know like all the emails i sent all the long love notes i sent whatever because she had been in regret that you know why did i do it why did i do it he was not the right person but after surrender she realizes that okay i i poured my heart out i was honest with my you know feelings so if i was honest with my feelings why regret whether or not the other person took it like that or whether or not the other person understood it like that it's a different thing you know but for in that particular moment i was true and i was honest 
she understands that and this will only happen when you make complete surrender you know happen now uh, because after you surrender the chaser energies are over the chaser energies are gone when the chaser energies are gone the runner who's energetically running from this connection uh, will not have anything to run away from and also because the runner get awakened first this is the reason why the chaser is the runner first the df was initially the runner because or whatever happened in her life she was skeptical about this relationship she wasn't sure if this twin is you know this dm because at that point in time you don't even know about the twin flame journey most of you search about the twin flame journey after a lot of things have gone wrong so she didn't even know that this is a twin flame or this and that or whatever its intensity is different it's only when she cannot forget him she cannot let go of him she feels very bad she feels very hurt that's when she goes like you know i have to find out what is this that i'm going through and then you know on the internet she finds out or you know wherever for those of you if it's not the internet then in physical reality they get some uh, meaning or some signs about it and then they're like oh my god okay yeah this does feel like a twin flame relationship so she is the one who awakens first because she is the initial runner now when she stops running the other person who was running to uh, from the connection that person also awakens and then they remember you know all the loving words she used to say because they were also closed and blocked they would be like no she doesn't love me she's not a good person she was mean to me she said mean things to me but only when the chaser runner dynamic is over when the surrender happens then she will surrender to source she surrenders to source as per this channeling also she is free from those worries that i said this i said that he's going to judge me and blah 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 she's like yeah let him judge me i don't care okay so what so what if he judges judges me so what if he doesn't message me or call me back so what i did my best i loved him and i told him that i love you and this is what it is now it's completely up to him what he wants to say or what he doesn't want to say or what he wants to do in the meantime i'm not going to stop living my life i'm going to go out i'm going to show up you know myself uh, show up for myself i'm going to do what i love i'm going to make my time enjoy my time in doing things even if if even if she has to talk to other other guys other men she'll do that you know it's not like a hard and fast rule that you you're in a twin flame relationship you cannot have other relationships or you cannot be with a karmic or even the feminines are with karmics in many cases this relationship reaches its new heights once she finds a karmic too and in many cases they don't you know it's completely different for everyone the trajectory is completely different so don't go by uh these things just go by what your soul tells you and again personal work is different and uh, i would say that if you are getting confused uh, or if you need some kind of a guidance you can always connect one on one with me the details are in the description box but what happens is that both the masculine and feminine have certain matrix templates that they need to work out and she figures it out finally and then uh, this rano you know he realizes that uh, that i made the effort it was good i made the effort because initially they make the effort the matrix twin makes the efforts and the the one who's in the research the inner work theme they don't catch it and then finally towards the you know surrender stage they figure out and then they also learn that you know if it's true love i don't need to worry about it what will worrying help me to do nothing so i don't need to worry about it i don't need to bother about it whatever is going to happen will happen whatever is destined to happen will happen and in the meantime i have to live and enjoy my life now over there the runner is now thinking you know he they are reading the old text messages they are going through old pictures or they are going through all of those memories you know they they are finding the love now they can see the, you know the way she looked at me the way she held my hand or the way she used to spend time with me the way she used to pamper me say such cute things to me they were initially totally blocked so when they are blocked they could not see it now the masculine is seeing it now another thing that is being shown in this channeling is that the feminine will be more like um Uh, she will not be you know, she will not be upset about this thing not working out in the meantime she would be like 
it had to happen like this and on the other side the divine masculine that longing he will be accepting this longing that he has for her he will not uh, run away from it he will realize that you know the soul the soul is crying the soul is longing to be with her because the love he felt with her was more divine and more pure and it was not physical love it was not bodily love you know and she on the other hand because she had to work on the root chakra and the sacral chakra and all that she'll also realize that you know the way he loved me was even though there was intimacy involved and you know she wasn't sure about it she'll feel that no whatever he was doing or whatever he said was out of love and nothing else so both of them will be on the same page same page in terms of i mean energetically first it will happen energetically so the divine will uh, make sure that nothing but divine energy runs through you and uh, this might take time for some people uh, but you have to be very patient and you have to really go through this whole process you cannot be in a hurry you cannot be like oh he has not called me he has not messaged me the divine will do something that you will eventually learn to accept pain you will learn to love yourself you will be very grateful for every single moment of your life you'll be very grateful for you you won't have any problems with your self image you not have any problems with your appearance you'll not have you know those inhibitions will go and you will be a complete clean slate in front of the universe who has totally bowed down totally you know totally given up that uh, that i am in control and i can do something the lessons will be such that you know that feeling of taking control will go away so if you feel that it has taken an eternity then again you need to heal yourself it's okay it can take whatever time you know time and space is something that we are here to work out and no human being can travel in space you know and go out or get freedom and liberation until and unless they don't figure this or drop this time and space thing that human beings live in because human beings have a very linear way of looking at time they have the watches they have the clocks and they have this day and night theme to work it out but imagine if you were living in a twin star galaxy or you were living in a world where there were two suns no concept of night then how would you measure time there could be some ways right but still you know and imagine we age on planet earth human beings age they fall sick you know this and that that's because the conditioning is such you're being told the day you're born you know as you grow up it doesn't mean that the babies will never grow up but that aging process slows down when you are out of this time and space construct the the construct that is uh, very you know confiding uh, not confiding confining when there is conformity you know then you can see there are people who at the age of 20 they age at a very young age they have you know aged you can see wrinkles all over their face and then there are people who at 60 look like they are in their 20s how is this possible how how these two different people from you know this particular age group one is aging so fast and one is aging so slow that's because the programming that both of them have is different and the more you live in child like energies the more you let go the more happy you are the more youthful you will be the more relaxed you will be you know the more your uh, muscles will be at ease you will have less of tensions you will have some tension that is how planet earth is something or the other will always go on but it will be not as deep as how a lot of people on planet who are suffering on a continuous basis are so on this note this channeling ends over here because what happens towards the end of this you know the energy is such that the divine masculine now starts bearing it all he starts telling her how much he loves her when they interact when they meet he will tell her and she'll be shocked i mean not like shock shock because she obviously has done in our work but she'll be like how come the man who you know in in such a long time he never contacted me he never called me how come now he's just telling me he loves me he misses me he was thinking about me all this while and he's so eager to connect with me he's you know coming to meet me he's getting flowers for me he's pampering me why is he doing all this it's not like why is he doing all this it's more like she she's more like oh my god 
but not in that ecstatic way you know it's happening because at one point in time she had also poured her heart out she had also very honestly told him that you know i love you or she gave him everything you know like maybe intimacy or the way she uh, you know made love to him whatever she did it was so pure it was so full of love that he could never let it go and all his thoughts and all his fears that you know it will never work out you know nobody is going to approve of our relationships because of all the pain he goes through after separating from her you know with the karmics whatever he goes through he realizes that you know instead of doing this stupid mistake the stupidity you know out of my fears i would have waited i would have waited for next few years you know dated her hung out with her spend more time with her you know found a solution but he could not have done that at that point in time because he was his soul was not ready it was not mature both were not ready and mature both had the same inhibitions it's not just that masculine was like oh it will never work out even the feminine was thinking how is it going to work out with all the differences we have so both of them are reflecting the same thing but by due to separation be it forced separation or be it accepted separation both of them will learn the lessons and come back to each other and you know uh, reveal reveal the feelings to each other reveal the true love to each other thank you so much for being here with me one love and peace out